In this video, we'll be showing how to use Playwright to skip authentication so that when you load into a page, you don't get to see the sign-in screen. You get to skip past that and only worry about your test. So what we're going to show is that when you have your saved session, you'll have an area like this that has your text document that has like the cookies and some other tokens in there so that when you run your test, you can configure your test to use that instead. So that would look like this, where when you start your browser, you start it with the, the file name, basically. And that lets you use that storage state, which is the authentication state um, that's stored on your drive in that file. What this will let you do is when you run that same test again, you'll see this time it's going to come into your login page that it, rather than that login page. So it should speed up your tests, just make it quicker, especially if you're running you know, a couple hundred tests, you don't want to go through the login every time. It's, that can be slow. Let's get into how you would do this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the Stack Overflow one. And we're going to go back over to our tests and I'm going to switch away from this Netflix example and go to the Stack Overflow example I have for you. So what this one's going to do is go into Stack Overflow and try to click on My Profile. If I run it right now, it's going to fail because it's not actually logged in. The, the actual authentication I have in that file is um, invalid, so it's not logging in for us. So let's see how we can fix that. So the command here that we're going to run is playwright open safe storage stack overflow.json. So when I run that, the playwright tool is going to open. It's just going to go to a blank page. It doesn't really matter. You can navigate to whichever page you want here, and it's just going to use, it's just going to keep track of whatever whatever pages you go to, whatever you log into. So if I go here, if I log in, okay, so that got me logged in, and you can see here I'm logged in because it shows like my account and everything. So we're just going to close this. So when I when I close that, what it did was it actually saved this here. And it has the cookies and some of this, these file settings actually stored for me already. So now, now what I can do is go back and just rerun my test that I didn't make any other changes to. And now I'll run it in the edit mode so you can see that it is actually logged in and it was able to succeed there and click on the item. So all you need to do is go save it once. And depending on how your page is set up, it will work for a long time. I, I saved that Netflix one off, I think, over two weeks ago, and it's still working. But in the documentation, uh, Playwright says that this isn't really meant for CI environments because it's using local network storage. So you would need to do something like saving that, that file in your source control, which probably isn't a good idea. If you guys got value, please give this video a thumbs up, and you can check out some of my other Playwright videos.